the Boston Lady Demons are looking to chalk up a win at home. However, this task is not as easy as pie because today, the Lady Pies are in town from New York. Stateside footy starts now. on location here at Jack Walsh Field in Westford, Massachusetts, where today the Boston Lady Demons will play host to the New York Lady Magpies. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Stateside Footy, the program that brings you the game of Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside camera people Yafim Schneiderman and Stacey Robert, I'm Bill Robert, and today we bring you the first half of yet another Aussie Rules doubleheader. Today the Lady Ds will face the New York Lady Magpies in both clubs' last match before players head to Australia for the Triennial International Cup. Lady Demons Kaylin Deal, Lisa Arredondo, and Amanda King will all be playing in Australia as the IC goes on. Kaylin and Lisa will actually be part Part of the U.S. Women's Development Team, the Liberty, and Amanda will be playing for the European Crusaders. Meanwhile, the Lady Pies are sending four members to the International Cup, Kim Hemingway, Shaban McHale, Nat Wolf, and longtime Lady Magpie and USAFL Women's Coordinator Drea Casillas. And as the show goes on today, we'll be talking to Drea. She'll stop by and tell us a little bit about the International Cup that's coming up. But before we get to that, we've got a game about to go on here. New York versus Boston. Lady Pies versus Lady Dees. It's coming up next right here on Stateside Footy. goes off the ball goes up and we have footy and it comes out and the pies get it first almost tackled there a couple of magpies it does go to ground now and there's a battle for the middle of the ground lady d's have it now kicked out and right in the hands of drea casillas and casillas is on the move big booming kick into the goal area goes off one of the lady demons hands goes to ground and there we go now just uh completely going to ground kick going up through and stop just before it goes through marked and then kicked out by the lady d's and it's going to skip up the far wing. Lady Pies appear to have numbers there. Ball is loose. And handballed off. Lady Pies have it right now. And they try a handball into traffic. Lady D's have it now. And it goes uh, just off the outstretched hand of Kaylin Deal. And it's kicked once again toward the attacking zone for the Lady Magpies. Goes up now and kicked in toward the goals. And, and that's a single point. So the first point of the game goes to the New York Lady Magpies. And right now, it's one behind one for the Lady Pies. As the Lady D's take the kick in from their own back goal square, goes off a set of hands, goes to ground. And then, Here we go, Blue. still a battle for it on the far wing. Kaylin Deal has it now. She's uh, able to handball it off, goes up now, and it is marked, intercept marked by one of the Lady Pies. That is uh, number 23, that is Andy. And uh, she'll take her free kick, kicks in, and goes in, marked. Actually, uh, the mark was a mark was paid, but to who? It's paid to the Lady Pies. So the Lady Pies with it right now. She'll take her kick, and it goes up there, going, taking a bounce, skipping off the ground. Bunch of players going for it, kicking it out there for the Lady D's. That was uh, number eight. That was uh, Ruthie, and the battle for it along the ground right now. 
in there. I believe that was Sarah Muscarella for the Lady Demons. And it's uh, kicked out now. And uh, coming up the ground, Lady D's trying to turn it into attack. But now kicked back. That's Nat for the Lady Pies. Kicks it back into the attacking zone. And then it's knocked back out. Kaylin Deal had it momentarily, but then skipped off her hands. Goes to ground now. And the Lady D's with it now. Now kick, heading for the corridor. And it is marked in defense. One of the Lady Pies there. I believe that's Rhea Casillas, number 11. Obviously one of the uh, stalwarts, in fact, the founder of this New York Lady Magpies Club. Kick in, takes a bounce, and then it's picked up. She is dispossessed. Lady D is looking to move it right now. She gets it to the boot, spills it out wide. Coming to the near boundary now. Lady Pies get it, then she is dispossessed. Battle for it along the ground. A couple of players from each club down there. It is loose now, and still loose, dispossessed. And Lady Pies with it again. Casillas gets the handball. She stops, gets it to the boot, a sideways kick, and it winds up going into Lady D's hands. She is wrapped up just as soon as she gets the ball, and the ball is loose once again. And it's coming out along the ground. Just soccered. Casillas looking for it there in there as well as Mascarella, and Mascarella knocked down. Lady D's working for it right now, and that's a kick, and that's going to be out of bounds on the full. That'll be a free kick for New York. A big opportunity for the Lady Pies to add to their score right now. They lead by a single point. And taking the kick there, that's number 28. That's Amy A. It kicks in toward the goal area. And goes over. Lady Pies with a chance for a kick now. It goes up, and it is marked. Actually, is it? Let's see. Kick through, and that's a goal. So the first two scoring shots, one minor, one major, both going to the New York Lady Magpies. And now the score early on in this first quarter is 1-1-7. Lady D's yet to score. Keep up with Stateside Footy online. We're on Facebook as Stateside Footy TV and on Twitter as Bill R underscore SS Footy. All likes and follows graciously accepted and appreciated here on Stateside Footy. Where today we're bringing you a women's footy game, women's between the uh, New York Lady Magpies and the Boston Lady Demons. They brought the back ball back to middle ground here and they've got it up again and tapped out and no clear possession yet Lady D's looking for the clearance and here we go she's got it now kicks it up ahead looking for a target on the far wing and there's going to be a chase for it now and let's see she is knocked down she still gets it though gets the handball off gets it to one of the other Lady D's and here we go they go ahead and oh it just handball attempt just bounced off her hands that was uh, uh, the player wearing zero that was uh, Olivia I believe that was and uh, let's see here it's going to be a uh, out it looks like and it was a boundary throw in indeed so it goes over both both rucks and they try and hit it out to advantage now after it bounces off the ground player goes to ground and kicked in lady d's with a good opportunity here and it is intercept marked though by the lady pies and they will bring it right back out and she's just going to blast it right up the corner and just about going to and getting oh there we go nice play there that's number 18 that is uh, for the Lady Demons. That is Karen, Karen Stabline from the New York, uh, actually from the uh, Baltimore Washington Eagles. She's uh, coming up and uh, guesting today. A couple of players are actually up here, uh, one of them being um, Karen Stabline, and uh, Alex Mims is up here as well uh, from the uh, Lady Eagles. And so now it's kicked up the far wing. Lady Magpies looking for it. Intercept mark. That is very nice by the Lady Demons. And now they'll look to turn it right back into attack. And she gets a good boot into it, goes through, and it's going to be in a contest and marked by the Lady Pies. That's number 78. That's Amy Mack for the Lady Pies, and she'll just kick it ahead now, looking for and almost getting her target there, but then wind up, uh, she's wrapped up there. Tackled, taking the ground, and we've got a whistle. Actually, nope, uh, they continue to kick it ahead. And let's see, uh, it's going to be a, coming back to the middle, though. It was a free kick. And I believe it was paid to number 12. That's a Lauren. Actually, I'm sorry. Now the uh, free kick was actually paid to the Demons. I think that's Kaylin deal with it now. And she will get it off. Coming out to the near boundary. Going over the head. She's got it now, though. And that's Stabline with it. Makes a move. Kicks in. Looking for. Oh. Looking for a Lady Demon who was starting to lead her target. But the Lady Magpie got in there. Was able to do the intercept mark. That's H, number 79. And now she'll get the kick off, and once again out to the far wing. Contest for it, it goes to ground. Few players competing for it. Still to ground, moving forward. And a couple of players go down. Ball still tipped, it's still in play. Lady Pies have it now, they try and handball it out. And uh, picked up there. 
And that was number 90. That's Nat who kicks it in and going. And nice spoil there. Uh, Lady Demon spoil there by uh, number five. That's Lane. And the ball coming back into Lady Pie hands now. And they'll look to move it ahead down the ground, looking for a target. And almost intercept marked there by Ruthie. She's got it now and kicks. Looking for, not quite getting it to uh, her target, but she's able to pick it up off the ground. It's sat for her. Kick goes along the ground into the hands of Muscarello. She's wrapped up as soon as she touches it. And let's see, we've got a free kick, it looks like, as the whistle did go off. And it will be a free kick given to Sarah Muscarella. A bit of a push there on the way down. So as a result, Lady Dees will have a chance to move it once again. Here we go. Goes up and over a couple of hands. Going out to the boundary, and it'll go out. We'll have a boundary throw in. Midpoint of quarter number one right now. The Lady Demons trail by seven, but they're looking to move it into their attacking zone. And let's see, it goes off a couple of players. Sarah Muscarella has it now. She handballs it up. That's picked off by the Lady Pies, and the Lady Pies are on the move. She tries a running bounce. Takes a couple of hops, but she gets it back. Kicks in, looking for, actually goes over everyone. And let's see here. Um, it's picked up. Lauren's got it now. Looks at, that's a nice ball. Oh, she's able to get it, though. Kicks in. And uh, the, the, lady, uh, the Lady Demons had spoiled it. Lady Pie was able to pick it up off the bounce zone and then kicked it in toward the goals, but then it was taken back out by the Lady Demons. And uh, there with it now, that's number 25 for the Lady Demons. That is uh, Kristen. And she kicks it ahead. And it's, oh, Sarah Muscarella wrapped up as soon as she got the ball. And the Lady Pie is looking to move it up again. Here we go. And, and we've got a tackle and And the free kick is going to the Lady Demons. So Lady Demons, as time continues to tick down in this first quarter, looking to get some points. Moved in, and it is marked. That's Tracy Toner with the mark. And she gets a nice kick off, looking for and not quite getting her target. It was headed for Katie. Lady Demons looking to pick it up. I think Casillas has it that now, though. And uh, let's see, that kicks through center. Knocked ahead, nice job there. And that's a stable line once again. Taken by the Lady Pies. Takes a hop, and oh, she is off. That's number 90, that is Nat. She gets the ball to the boot, big kick, and almost marked, bounces off her chest. A couple of players going after it though, and uh, they kick it now, heading for the sticks. Now it looks like that's gonna go a little wider, will it? Let's see, couldn't tell from the angle here. I see a point indicated, so that's another point for the Lady Magpies. And that score is now one, two, eight. The Lady Demons, zero. As they change out, Christina Glynn coming on the field now for the Lady Dees as they ball it up in the attacking zone for the Lady Pies. She kicks it in toward the sticks, handballed out, and ball still loose. And she's taken the ground, and she'll be held up. It looks like they'll ball it up just in the shadow of the New York attacking goals. So here we go, up once again, the ball gets tossed up, hit out to advantage by the Lady Pies, and she's going to get it, but as soon as she gets it, she's taking off the ball. Another kick in toward the sticks, and that goes over everybody. That's gonna be straight and a goal. And so now the score is New York 2-2-14. As we bring it back to center. Just to remind you, by the way, Stateside Footy is the show that lets you get your footy on, on cable or online. Check us out on Vimeo.com slash StatesideFootyTV, or check your local cable channel listings. If it isn't there yet, contact them and say you want to see Stateside Footy. And while we've got a chance, I'd like to say hello to one of our newest affiliates, Carson TV in Carson City, Nevada, has picked up Stateside Footy. So uh, to all our viewers out there, uh, thanks for uh, coming onto the program. We hope you enjoy it. As it comes out of the ruck once again, tap to the side. A couple of players battling for it right now. The Lady Pies have numbers, and they've got the ball. She is wrapped up, but she's able to get the handball off, and here come the Lady Pies once again. And she gets it to the boot just before she's tackled. Coming down and looking, the ball, and then it'll take a skip back. Christina Glenn in the action, uh, as well as a couple of the Lady Pies. Handballed off, though, and kicked over now. That kick was by number 28. That's Amy A. And we've got a whistle. And that's going to the Lady Pies. And that's number 33. That's Barb. Her target can't take the uh, ball as it bounces off her chest. Once again, goes to ground. Battle on the ground. We've got a uh, whistle. And the free kick going to uh, number 12, that's Lauren. 
I was just giving Lauren, but uh, uh, Lauren, but I believe that's Lauren Schenechny. She kicks in and oh, goes just over the hands of her intended receiver. But once again, the Pies have it deep in their own attacking zone. And let's see here. We've got a couple of players down. And they just called it tied up. Umpire calls my ball, so he's going to toss it up. And it goes up for grabs once again. The Rucks go to work. Tapped out. Almost into the hands of one of the Lady Pies. She's dispossessed as soon as she gets it. One of the Lady D's tries to kick it out. And the Lady D's have it right now. They're coming up the far wing. And kick goes, and it is marked. Here we go. Lady Demons on the march now. Oh, it goes right over the head of uh, number 25 there. That's uh, Kristen. And it goes to the center of the ground. And with it now, Lady, Lady Demons on the move. She's able to handball it off just before she gets tackled. And no, I actually believe she get pinged for holding. So as a result, I believe that's going to be Casillas with the free kick. Coming in now, intercept mark. That was beautiful for the Lady Demons there. Number seven, who I actually don't have here, but uh, good job, whoever you are. Um, goes back down. Here comes Casillas once again. Casillas gets it to the boot and almost intercept marked once again. And she's uh, battling for it now. Nice job protecting the ball. And then the kick, oh, it's smothered. Goes off a Lady Magpie, and it's coming the other way now. And that is marked. Nice job with a, someone right on her. She was able to pick that one up. And just pull down the grab. And she's going to get it to the boot now. And it goes to ground. Bounces into the hands of a Lady Pie, another Lady Pie. That kick is smothered. Lady Demons playing some stout defense here. She's wrapped up, and I believe the umpire is just going to call for it. So they'll toss it up. Once again, the ball up deep in New York territory. Up we go. Knocked out. And it goes to ground once again. And we've got another whistle. And the free kick is going to the Lady Pies. So here we go. Kick goes in toward the goals, and it looks like uh, I think it hit the post. As a result, it's going to be uh, another minor. So, so far, five scoring shots for the Lady Pies, but luckily for the Lady Demons, three of those were minors. Otherwise, this could be a different game. As the kick goes up once again, Kaylin Deal marks it. She marks it at left halfback flank. She kicks it up now. It's going on the far wing, and that is marked. Lane has it now after that nice mark. She kicks it in into a contest, and it's almost marked. Goes to ground, soccered out, and the Lady Pies pick it up. A little bit of a shepherd there. Nice job, and they're out with it again. Here we go. Big kick. Open space. And the whistle goes off, and we do have quarter time. So quarter number one is finished, and so far it's been all Lady Magpies. At the end of quarter number one, the score stands. The New York Lady Magpies, two goals, three behinds, 15 points. And the Boston Lady Demons uh, yet to score. There's still plenty of action on tap. Stay tuned. Stateside footy continues. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com. Find your team. Check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback. Your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. The Lady Demons are coming out onto the ground right now to start the second quarter of this match. A second quarter that sees them trailing New York. 15 plays, nothing. And hopefully we can get down to their end and uh, start some offensive pressure as this quarter gets underway. And speaking of getting underway, the ball goes up. It is tapped out. And here we go. Second quarter action. 
And right now the uh, Lady Pies look to hit it out to advantage again. Comes back out. Lady Pies have it now. They pick it up off the ground. Handball goes out. Casillas has it. She's able to grab it. It was over her head, but she was able to pull it down. And uh, takes a couple of hops and then uh, skip and a jump. And it goes through everybody here. And the Lady Pies have it. Uh, Lauren had it momentarily. Also getting it there was uh, Ruthie for the Lady Demons. And she is pulled down. And uh, Lauren's going to be getting the uh, free kick for the Lady, D Lady Pies. And she gets it off to the boot. Let's see. Skips up toward the pocket. And goes to ground once again. Pack of players battling for it. And we've got a whistle. And the umpire will call my ball and toss it back up. Just into quarter number two here on Stateside Footy. This is a part one of a two-game doubleheader, obviously. We've got the Lady Pies and the Lady Demons to start. And then the Pies and the Demons later on. As uh, once again the action continues, I believe we're going back, and it looks like we'll have a boundary throw in at the pocket as the ball did indeed roll over the line. So pretty much good result for the Lady Pies as it comes in their left forward pocket, and they hit out to advantage, but it does go to ground. They almost were loose with it, and now oh that's a smother. Lady Pies, Lady yeah, Lady Pies had a kick for goal that was smothered. Lady Pies with another kick for goal that's heading for the sticks, and that's headed right through. That's another six pack for the Lady Magpies. They scored the first points of the first quarter. Now they score the first point of the second quarter. And right now their lead jumps up to 3-3-21. And the Lady Demons so far yet to score. So this is the uh, third consecutive doubleheader. To start off, we had uh, Columbus come in for a couple of games with the men and the women. And then uh, last time out, just a few weeks ago, we had uh, a doubleheader for the uh, Lady uh, Lady Demons actually taking on the Montreal Angels, and then the men taking on the Quebec Saints. Another doubleheader today as we get New York versus Boston, and as it comes out of the ruck once again, Lady Demons trying to move it forward. They've got it now, and she is wrapped up as soon as she's, she's got the ball, but she's able to get the handball off. That was number seven. Uh, that was um, number seven. Once again, don't have her yet, but uh, she's got the ball again. Handballs it off, and here come the Lady Demons. Oh, she is wrapped up, and she loses the ball. Play on calls the umpire, and handballed off now, and let's see. She's able to get the Ball to the boot, and it does stay in play. Takes a skip, and a hop, and a roll, and it will be out of bounds. So a boundary throw in at the Lady Magpies right half forward flank. And up it goes once again, and it just hits the ground. Bounces between a few players. She is wrapped up, and coming through here now, and there we go. Go fetch. Lady D's have numbers if they can get there. They've got three players. However, it is taken by Taylor for the Lady Pies. And we've got, oh my goodness, we've got a Lady D down. And she is rent, she is looking to be in, in serious pain. And the kick can now going all the way down to the forward pocket, the right forward pocket of the Lady Pies. A couple of players wrestling for the ball right now. And... Uh, They'll hold it up for a second here, as we do have a player injured on the far boundary. And obviously, you never want to see that. We've had some, some fairly serious injuries over the years with some of the members of the Demons and the Lady Demons as well. As once again, the action continues close in to the Magpie goals. And Almost run out there by the Lady D's. That's Lisa Arredondo with it now. She's able to get some release. Lady D's looking to move it up. They were backed up, but they're able to get some space now. There's a race for it, and let's see. Oh, Lady D's will be first there. Handball goes out. She's got it. And then, let's see. Oh, nice little turnaround. Handballs it off, and here they go. That's Tracy Toner with a kick there. However, that kick is intercepted by Drea Casillas. And Casillas kicks it now once again into... Lady Pies territory, and it is marked. That is number 78. That is Amy Mack, and she will stop and take a moment and take her free kick. And the ball goes up, and let's see here. Goes over everybody. Lady D's look to have a beat on it. They've got it now. She gets it to the boot, and that's coming over toward the boundary line. It'll skip, and it'll roll over, so it'll be a boundary throw in. And the throw-in comes in once again, and let's see here. Tapped out, 
and kicked out by the Lady Knees, but right into the hands of Nat for the Lady Pies, who then puts a booming kick in, goes over everybody. It'll skip, it'll roll out, it's still in play, and now it's out. Still obviously good result for the Lady Magpies, though, as it results in a boundary throw-in in their right forward pocket. Ball gets tossed up once again and tapped out. And coming out. Still bouncing, and Toner's got it now. Toner with a kick out, and let's see here. Lady D still have it. Nice handball goes out, and here we go. That's Olivia. She's caught high. Play on, calls the umpire. Play on. Glenn's got it now. She gets it to Toner. Toner kicks it up, and Allison's got it now, and she is wrapped up by the Lady Pies almost, actually. Is able to get away, and here we go with it now. That's uh, Christina Glenn. Marked. Marked by Sarah Muscarella. Best opportunity the Lady D's have had in a bit. And she kicks it in now, looking for a target and not quite intercept. Mark Castillas was there, but she's well out of bounds and we'll have a boundary throw in. This time a good result for the Lady Demons as it comes at their uh, left forward, half forward flank. And it's tossed in. And, and Lady Pies seem to be all over it right now. They've got numbers around the ball. And she kicks it out and that's gonna be out on the full. So that'll be a free kick for the Lady Demons. And if they can get the kick, it'll be a good kick deep in their territory. Who's going to be taking the free kick? That's going to be number 21. That's Tracy Toner. So Toner will be taking the kick. And a kick in toward goal. Lady Pies are there. Oh, she can't mark it. And it's loose. And the ball's along the ground. Lady Demons have it. I'm sorry, Lady Pies have it, though. Kicked out and... Oh, not quite marked, and the Lady Demons have it now. She gets herself some space, touches it to the ground, gets herself some space, and let's see, oh, she can't kick it though. She can't get the boot to the ball, and it's kicked out by the Lady Pies. Lady Ds with their best opportunity yet. They just couldn't connect, couldn't capitalize. But they've still got the ball right now at half forward if they can move it back in. But the Lady Pies seem to be away with it right now, and there's gonna be a foot race for this one, and it'll be picked up by Karen Stabline. She's able to get around the tackle and then get it to the boot, looking for a target. It's gonna skip between a few players. Lady Pies get it and then they will kick it back in. And let's see here. Oh, that goes off the foot. That's a nice bit of a spoil. That was Kaylin Deal, nice play by her. And Deal going after, she's got the ball now off the ground. She gets it to the boot, just kicking out, looking for a player, but uh, that's kicked ahead by Nat. Nat's got it now. She handballs it off to Casillas and Casillas gets it to the boot. And once again, a nice escape play there by the Lady Magpies. That'll still be in play. Kaylin Deal will get there first, and then she will kick it up, just looking for one of her teammates. It's picked up off the ground, blocked, and then goes off a set of hands. Back to the ground now. Lady Pies with, a mag with the uh, handball, and they kick it ahead once again. It'll skip. Oh, it'll skip through everybody. That's a race for the ball right now, and a bit of a shepherd. And who's going to – basically, they've got the numbers there right now. And let's see. We've got uh, – Tackle, a couple of players going down, and the free kick. Lady Pies have the free kick. And it's a bit of a line drive. Intercept marked, nicely done by the Lady Demons. That's Kaylin Deal back there once again with it. Doing a nice job. And she kicks it up along the far wing. It is intercept marked though. Lady Pies will have it. And they'll just kick it right back into the attacking area. We're at the halfway point of quarter number two. And right now, Lady Pies are up by three and a half goals. That ball not marked in the middle. Loose ball. And the Lady Ds will have it. And they'll look to move it out once again. Kick. Skips along the ground. Oh, she can't hold on to it, but she gets it now. Handballs it back. And then... Have a kick, Ruthie. Have a kick. That's another handball, and then a kick. And who will get there first? Looks like Casillas, Casillas can't grab it. And then it's uh, tapped ahead. Casillas will have it off the ground, though. And she's able to avoid two tackles, and then kick it in, and intercept mark there by the Lady Demons. That's number eight, that's Ruthie. And that is terrific. And she will kick it out right now. Goes past a couple of players. Goes to, uh, goes to Muscarella. She's able to get the ball to the boot before that she is uh, taken down. And there's a race for it right now. After it is a Taylor, number 75 for the Pies. She'll pick it up, and she'll turn it around right into attack. On the wing, oh, she can't mark it. It goes right through her hands, and then she is wrapped up. She's dispossessed. Both players go to ground, and now the Lady Demons have it. 
and that kick smothered a little bit. Lady D still over it, though. They have numbers, but they're being heavily harassed by the Lady Pies out there. Loose ball. Lady Demons just missed out on that chance. Lady Pies have it now. And here is Nat with it now. Nat runs around, and she kicks it up. And let's see. That is not marked. Uh, she goes off the tips of her fingers and off her shoes. And it is taken. Stabline has it now. And she just lets a nice kick go. Oh, just over her intended target. That's Kristen, number 25. And then... Uh, Heading back now, Lady Pies with it once again. That's a big kick. It'll be a contest settling under that. Just a bit of a pack. Goes wide, Lady Pies picking it up. She's wrapped right up. And I believe uh, she was taken high, so the umpire will give her a free kick. Free kick going to the New York Lady Magpies. And up it goes, and let's see here. Goes off of a couple of players. Picked up by one of the Lady D's. She handballs it off just before she gets wrapped up. She's able to pick it up now, handballs it off, and here we go. Lady D's on the run now. And she is tackled. And we have a, looked like holding the ball. So holding the ball infringement against the Lady Demons. Lady Pies will have the free kick. And it looks like they're pretty much going to try and bang it right up the quarter. There it goes, up the quarter, and intercept marked once again by the Lady Demons. Nicely done. And they kick it up now. It skips, uh, stops in front of Casillas, but she's able to pick it up off the ground. She's got really sure hands out there, and she kicks it in now. Almost intercept mark there by Kaylin Deal, and Deal's got it right now. She's running. She's got some space, and she gets it to the boot, looking for, almost getting her target there, looking for uh, number 12 there. That's uh, Alex Mims. Casillas kicks it back now for the Lady Pies. Lady Demons have it right now. That's Olivia. She kicks it up, and, oh, skips right over Mims. Casillas with it now. She just taps it ahead, a little bit of a knock on there. Soccered ahead by the Lady Demons, and the Bostonians looking to move the ball ahead. Latter stages of the second quarter. Lady Demons right now trailing by three and a half goals, trying desperately to get it in position for a scoring shot in their end of the ground. Lady Pies get it once again, and it looks like they will have the clearance out of that stoppage as it skips up and through once again. And let's see here. Picked up now, and here come the Lady D's again. Looking for, not quite getting a target, but it'll be a foot race. It takes a good bounce, too, and Mims will get it now. Mims has it. She was wrapped up by Casillas, but she gets the handball off. And she's, another player gets corralled, but is able to get the handball off. And, oh, that handball was smothered by Casillas, and she was looking to turn it right back around. Bit of a serendipitous moment for the uh, Lady D's, though, as that ball did skip over the boundary. So we will have the... Boundary throw in on the far center wing. Tapped ahead by the Lady D's, but then it goes to ground amidst a whole bunch of players. Handball the head there by the Lady D's. She is able to pick it up now. And we got a whistle, and that's going to go out of bounds. Another boundary throw in coming. And tapped over. And Lady Demons have it now. She's able to get it. Oh, Casillas is giving her all kinds of grief, though. And she is down, and she is wrapped up, and I believe the ball went over the line again. Or was that uh, going to be a free kick for holding the ball? No, actually, a free kick uh, to the Lady Demons. An infringement called against Casillas. She gets it to the boot there, and it skips ahead. And Lady Pies have it now, and they're looking to turn it right back around. Kick goes to the center of the ground. Nice spoil there. Nice spoil by Stabline, and once again, here come the Lady D's. Kicked up ahead, looking for, not quite getting her target. Ball goes to ground, it is loose. And players going for it everywhere. We've got a whistle again. And let's see. The free kick is going to who? Free kick is going to the Lady D's. That is number 25, that's Kristen. She kicks it in, looking for a target, and oh, it just goes through everybody. And the Lady D's will kick it back, and Lady Pies rather will kick it back out again. And race for the ball. Boston's got it now, Lady D's. Kick back into the forward zone. Ma oh, almost marked, she took it down, then she's wrapped up, just as she picked it up off the bounce. And the ball goes to ground there, loose, kit, loose ball. And another player gets it, and she is wrapped up as soon as she gets it. And I believe it's gonna be a free kick given to Lady Demons. Diane's got it. We're going to have the journey. Will it be in her range? It is smothered off the boot. 
Who was that on the mark? Was that Casillas? It was a great smother off the boot, but the Lady Demons have it now. They kick it in towards the sticks, and that looks to be a goal! A major score for the Boston Lady Demons. And they have etched their initials on the scorecard. Lady Demons are in this one now. Score is the Lady Magpies 3-3-21. And the Lady Demons one straight six. It's a big moment there, and as, as now that happens, that's basically halftime. Here we go. Nice job by the Lady Ds at the half to get on the scoreboard and looking to uh, get some momentum and move forward from there. Halftime is indeed here, and the score stands. The New York Lady Magpies, three goals, three behinds, 21 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, one goal, six points. Coming up next, second half action. You're watching Australian Rules Football, American style. And you're watching it right here on Stateside Footy. Just about done with the major break here. And right now the score stands, the Lady Pies, 3-3-21. And the Lady Demons, or I guess the Lady Demon Eagles, as they're calling themselves today, one straight six. And it goes off, and it's tipped off, and we will now have third quarter action. Number of players going for it, grabbed in the middle there. And Lady Dees have it. She taps it ahead, and with it now is Karen Stabline. She's able to handball it off, and she's got it. She's wrapped up, though, one of the uh, Lady Demons. She's got it, and let's see here. The umpire calls for it. He says, I'll take it. And up we go. Up again. Hit out. So no clear advantage yet. Casillas trying to get the clearance from the stoppage, and she's able to handball it off. And now New York has it. Oh, just outside the outstretched hands of one of the Lady Pies, that uh, kick in the marking attempt. And she's got it now. She's wrapped up. Uh, that was number 28 there, who just got wrapped up here. That's Amy A. And let's see here. Here we go. Lady D's, uh, Lady Pies actually going once again. She's marked it. That's number 22 for the Lady Pies. And that is actually Jen. So she's got it now. And she gets it to the boot. It looks to be pushed wide and actually still in play. Won't make it. Knocked out by the Lady D's. Lady Pies looking to uh, grab it for another shot at goal. And number of players wrestling over it now. And Lady D's have it now. She kicks it up the wing. And it stays in play. And Lady D's uh, number seven now, once again, she's still got it. She's, she's made some nice plays, some intercept marks and some plays back there in the back half that have been really impressive for the Lady Demons. And uh, the boundary throw in coming now as the ball did go out of bounds. And uh, knocked aside, a couple of players going after it. And kicked ahead now by the Lady D's. It is marked. Tracy Toner has it now. Tracy Toner on the far wing. Looking for some targets. She gets a nice kickoff going into a pack and... Goes to ground. Lady Pies are there, though. They've got numbers, and they will get the ball back to their attacking part of the ground. And Lady D's have it right now. She's got some space. She kicks it out to the side, and it is marked. Number one there, Allison Monahan. She's got it now. And she kicks it, uh, I believe it was uh, deflected a little bit by Casillas. And once again, the Lady Pies will kick it into their territory. Skips wide, takes a bit of a roll. Stays in play, though, as the Lady Ds pick it up. Oh, she's able to evade the pressure and get a kick off now up the wing. She is wrapped up before she touches it, and I believe we've got a push in the back. Free kick going to the Lady Demons. And that's going to go to Olivia, who's wearing the, the zero out there today. Or actually, rather than calling it the zero, I'd call it the O for Olivia. 
And let's see, we go in and marked. Nice job, Lady Demons. And she gets it to the boot now, into a pack, and just goes off the hands of the Lady Pies, and that was number 28 with that. That was Amy A, and she kicks it back in the middle part of the ground, the far wing. Sarah Muscarella in there going for it now. She's able to tap it out, but then, oh, she is wrapped up. She's gone around a couple of times. Umpire almost had the whistle for holding the ball, but then the uh, Lady Pie player was able to get rid of the ball and uh, get out of the tackle. Meanwhile, the kick bounces, skips off to the right. And as a result, we'll roll out of bounds and we'll have a boundary throw in. Tapped out right into the hands of, oh, she is wrapped up though. And I believe that's going to be holding the ball. Coming out of the ruck, it went into the hands of Amy Mack and she just got wrapped up. One of the Lady D's brought it right down. Indeed, that is holding the ball. That will be a free kick for the Lady Demons. And that kick going up the wing and spoiled by the Lady Pies. And here they come once again. That's Lauren Skenichny who kicks it. And right there, Stabline with the intercept mark. And she's just going to run and take it. And it is intercept mark though there. And the Lady Pies have it once again. A lot of the play has been on that far wing so far. Once again going up into a pack and marked. Lady Magpies continue. And that ball is kicked up now. And looks like Lauren's got it again, Lauren Skenetsny, and she's then dispossessed. Another player knocked off the ball. It's a bit of a <laughs> heck of a shepherd there. And we've got a whistle. And the umpire will call for it, and he'll just toss it back up for grabs. And kicked into attacking territory by the Lady Pies. They've got it now, looking to move it ahead. Player gets dispossessed, was almost about to uh, pick up the ball and get within range of goal. Kicked out now, just goes right up the corner, and it is intercepted. Natalie has it now for the Laney Magpies. Well, actually, Nat, anyway, the name says Nat. I just, I assume Natalie, but <laughs> you know what they say when you assume. Goes in, it is marked. And that's number... 76, I believe. No, that might be 70, uh, 76 gals with it. And she kicks the ball, and that looks like to be uh, to be bending back. Let's see. That is a goal, indeed. So the kick did start out getting pushed a little bit to the right, but then it did bend back and went through the two big sticks. And that's another major score for the Lady Magpies. And they've increased their lead. They're back up to 21 points now. 4-3-27 for the New Yorkers. One straight six for the Bostonians. And they'll bring it back up to center. Just a reminder that you can keep up with Stateside Footy online. We're on Facebook as Stateside Footy TV and on Twitter as Bill R underscore SS Footy. All likes and follows graciously accepted and appreciated right here on Stateside Footy. And it'll they're just about to toss it up for grabs once again. And goes up once again and knocked out. No clear advantage yet. Lady D is looking to move it though. Just shoveled ahead. Tracy Toner has it now. And then she's dispossessed. She tries to get it back. She's battling for it. She's wrapped up by two Lady Pies. She's able to still get it to the boot. And she tries to get it over there to uh, uh, Molly Helberstadt. And here we go. Lady D's to have it now. She's got some room. But it'll be intercept marked by the Lady Pies. She has some space, she gets the kick out, but uh, Lady Pies were there, they had the numbers at that point. And they'll just now kick it, looking to go up in the corner, and almost intercept marked there by the Lady Demons, it just bounced off her chest, and now that ball goes to ground. It is still going to ground. Players tackle, play on, calls the umpire, and she's got it now, she's able to get it to the boot. Once again, intercept marked by the Lady Magpies. And they're saying go wide. And they're coming to the near boundary now. Drake to see us has it. You could hear the uh, Lady Pies bench. Go wide, Dre has got it. And now she kicks it across. And that one is marked two. So the mark taken there by number 33, that's Barb for the Lady Magpies. And she gets it to the boot. And the kick skips along, almost into the hands of Stabline. And Lady D's trying to soccer it back. Kicked up and over and intercepted by the Lady D's. Not 15 though, so play on. 
and they kick it, and they get it right to the center of the ground. She's able to out, out stretch that tackle, basically. She's able to get around the tackler, and here we go. Lady D's are away. Can they get a good possession in their attacking zone? And the answer to that is no, as the Lady Pies pick it up once again off the bounce. And oh, she is harassed just before she gets the kickoff. It winds up going wide, and she is wrapped up, and with it there, that's number eight. She gets it to the boot, it's a disposal. Lady Pies have it now off the ground, and that's just a bit of a kick. It'll take a couple of bounces. It'll wind up in Lady D hands, and here we go. I believe that's uh, Karen Stabline with it once again. Kicks it up the wing. She's got her target. That's number 25, that's Kristen for the Lady Demons. It'll take a skip. Olivia's in there, one of the Lady Pies is there as well. And let's see. Oh, <laughs> bit of a soccer there, almost uh, could have been kicking in danger. Handball goes out now, and with it now, that's Tracy Toner. Toner wrapped up, gets it to the boot though, but it winds up in the hands of a Lady Pie. That's Lord Skinetsny. Skinetsny is then wrapped up, taken down, and the free kick going to the Lady Demons for holding the ball. And the free kick will go to Allison Monahan, wearing the number one today for the Lady D's. And she kicks it out wide. And. And they kick it in toward the sticks now, and that's going to be, let's see. That's a goal! I didn't see who kicked it, but the Lady Demons have put another major score on the board. And once again, the, the uh, deficit now. Is that uh, 15 points right now? 4-3-27 um, uh, for the uh, Lady Magpies and two straight 12 for the Boston Lady Demons. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're interested and uh, wanting to know what, what's going on with the game, you can learn more about this great game and how it's doing in your backyard. All you have to do is visit the official website of the league, the United States Australian Football League. It's www.usafl.com, and you can go there and find a club near you. As they take it out of the ruck once again, Lady D's have possession momentarily. Will they have the clearance, though, out of center? Bunch of players going down, and she's almost able to handball. Kick right in the hands of one of the Lady Demons, and they kick it ahead once again, and, oh, it's going to skip ahead. There will be a race for the ball as it continues into the forward part for the Lady D's. They're in their forward 50 right now, kicked out, and it's just going to skip along the ground, and we'll get there first. Lady Pies have it, she handballs it off. And going to Drea Casillas. Casillas can't get it though, and then she is wrapped up, taken down, and we've got a whistle. And the free kick. I believe she was taken a little bit high there on that tackle, so Drea Casillas will have the free kick for the Lady Magpies, and she will just make a little bit of a move, kick her across the ground, looking for and getting her target. That's Amy Mack, number 78, as they bring it down. She kicks it up the opposite wing, and that'll skip, and it looks like they'll stay in play. Picked up by the Lady D's, they kick it back in toward the center now. And going for it there, that's Monahan. Spins around, gets herself some space, is able to get the ball to the boot, and they've got it. Oh, she's able to kick it too. It goes past Drea Casillas, and she's got it here. She's wrapped up by Casillas. And she's able to get the ball off. Loose ball. Kick down, and intercept mark there by the Lady Pies. In defense, that was a big play there. And let's see. Marked by Nat out on the far wing. So once again, the Lady Pies with the kick goes over everybody, takes a skip. Doesn't, skip, uh, doesn't sit for Lauren Skinesny though. And she's got it now. Actually, uh, one of her other players has it. One of her teammates has it. And uh, kicks, skips over everybody. That's a friendly bounce for the Lady Pies though. She's able to get it to the boot, headed toward the sticks. And let's see, looks like that's a point. No, that's a goal. So the Lady D's have fought. They've gotten two goals, but the Lady Pies have gotten them right back. And now it's back up to a 21-point deficit. 5-3-33 for the Lady Pies. Two straight 12 for the Lady Demons as we get into the latter stages of this, the third quarter. And up it goes once again. Tapped out. And the Lady D's have it. It's a nice clearance. And takes a couple of skips. Winds up in Lady D's hand. She handballs it ahead. And she is wrapped up. Lady Pies have it once again. And they get the kick out to the center wing. And who's going to win the race there? Looks like it's going to be the Lady Demons as uh, she's able to get it now. 
and then just uh, handballing it ahead. And kick goes up, she's under it, and oh, she almost marks it, but she's able to pick it up off the ground, and she's gonna continue with it. Handballs it ahead into space. Looking for uh, one of her teammates there, looking for number 12, Alex Mims. And kicked in uh, towards center. Lady D is coming out with it. Takes a skip, takes a couple of skips. And then that's Nat and that's uh, Karen Stabline going after it. And they'll just ball it up, umpire calls for it. I'm sorry, that was not Karen Stabline, that was number seven who um, I still do not have here on the roster, but uh, she's able to tap it out of the ruck, but uh, Nat, uh, Nat picks it up right afterwards. And let's see, there's a foot race for it now. Looks like the Lady D's will find it. Can they get possession of it though? They, they were first to the ball. They weren't able to cleanly pick it up though. And now we've got a couple of players going to ground and the handball goes off and here we go. The Lady D's trying to make it through the far wing and that ball's gonna bounce off a leg and it'll go out. Went out of bounds. And here comes the boundary throw in on the near wing. Oh, it goes over everybody, and that takes a weird bounce. Lady D's have it, though, and she's able to kick it. A little bit of a, a dribble kick. And she picks it up and is immediately wrapped up. That was uh, number 10 for the Lady Demons there, who actually I don't think I have here. I'm sorry, I do. That's Diane. And then they're wrestling for it, and then finally. And it'll be cleared up. So it was uh, number 10 for the Lady D's. That's Diane. And uh, number 27, Tabs, for the Lady Pies. And... Uh, Almost hit out of the ruck once again. Nat's got it now for the Lady Pies. She's able to get it to the boot, looking for and getting her target. That's Sam Wolf, number 24. And now the Lady Pies, oh, it's right in front, and it is smothered. Nice job there by the Lady Ds, and they're able to come back. Some of the Lady Pies were moving forward, and now the Lady Ds may have some space in their attacking 50. And, oh, that is a mark. That is an intercept mark there. That's number 33, that's Barb. Great intercept mark there for the Lady Pies. And we get the whistle. And that is three quarter time. And so the Demons come up and score another big goal. However, the Lady Pies come up and score two. And we're going into the final break now at three quarter time. The score is the New York Lady Magpies, five goals, three behinds, 33 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, Two goals, 12 points. We'll finish this one up after the break. The conclusion of today's match is coming up. Stay with us here, right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com. Find your team. Check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback. Your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. The whistle has gone off, signaling the start of the final quarter of play here. And... Lady Pies right now up by 21 points. Lady Demons looking to move the ball ahead right now. And Toner's got a Toner with a nice kick, and it goes uh, off the hand of Drea Casillas. Lady Pies will get it back, though, and they'll kick it up right through the center of the ground. And coming out, and it knocked away. Nice job there. And handball the head. Lady Pies have it. She's held up. She can't dispose of the ball, though. They finally get it and uh, gets it to the boot. Lady Demons have it now, and they've got it in range. And this is going to be kicked ahead there. That was Alex Mims who kicked it, looking for Olivia. Takes a weird bounce, open at the uh, middle of the ground. Handballed out, who will be there first? Lady Deeds will have it, but she is wrapped right up as she gets it. And now the ball changes hands a couple of times. Now that player's dispossessed. Lady Pies will have it though, she gets some space. Dribble kick right there, and then one of the Lady Demons has it. She's wrapped right up and is able to get it to the boot. And then handballed off by one of the Lady Pies. 
and kicked ahead now, looking for. Not quite getting her target, though. She just couldn't catch up with that ball in midair, but she's able to get it off the ground now. And she rushes forward. That's Sam Wolf for the Lady Magpies. And it takes a skip right into the hands of Sarah Muscarava for the Lady Demons. Kicking and looking and almost intercept marked there by Adrienne Casillas, who's been kind of everywhere today, as usual. She's able to kick it back up again and looking for, not quite getting one of her teammates. She's not able to hang on to the mark, but she picks it up off the ground. And then uh, another player gets dispossessed. And they're just trying to roll it around right now. It almost looks like an Easter egg race, but she's got it now. And will she get it to the boot in time? She will. Gets it through, and that is a goal. She's able to get herself some space, get it to the boot, put it right through. As the saying goes, center meter perfect for the Lady Demons. Actually, for the Lady Pies, I'm sorry. And the goal kicked there by Jen, as we can hear from the bench. So now the score is 6-3-39 for the New York Club. And for the ladies from Boston, they're still at two straight 12. Now a 27-point margin. And up it goes again. T tapped out of the ruck. A couple of players fighting for it. Lady Deeds have it now. And, oh, she can't get a clean kickoff, though. And the Lady Pies will pick it up. Kicked once again into their attacking zone. Goes past Sam Wolf, who's there with, uh, I think that was Christina Glynn in there as well. And uh, coming out in back now. And a bunch of players just shepherding the ball. It's loose on the ground now. And uh, it goes back to what uh, Brian Barish would term a game of aggro twister. And it'll be a ball up, almost at center. Up it goes once again, and tapped ahead. Hit, hit out to advantage by the Lady Pies, and they've got it once again. Oh, that is a very fortunate bounce for Lawrence Konechny, who's got it now, and she kicks it in, and it is marked right in front. 78 there, that is uh, Amy Mack. And she serves up uh, Big Mac, as that's another goal. And here we go once again, another goal for the Lady Pies. Now it's 7-3-45. So it's now a 33-point lead for the Lady New Yorkers. Bring it back up to center, toss it up again. And it goes right to ground. Tracy Toner has it now. Kicks it up, looking for, not quite getting it. She was looking for Monahan, But one of the Lady Pies ran in front and took the intercept mark. And they'll bring it uh, to attack once again. And she gets it off the boot. And kicks it almost to uh, half forward. Oh, that kick, Lady D's had it. That kick was blocked. Nice smother there by one of the Lady Pies. It's in number 23. That was uh, Andy with the smother there. Now the ball winding up in the air. And taken, not 15. So she's just going to have to take it and get rid of it. And it's going to skip into their forward 50. And Lady D's have it. She makes herself some space. Nice going. Kick that to the side, and it's marked. And rather than play on, she's just going to take her time, set up some targets. That kick going from... Uh, that's from uh, Molly, Molly to Monaghan. Kicked up the ground now and taken back by the Lady Pies, who then kick it back in, and that will be just in. That just snuck in. Although they're calling it out on the full, it looks like. It looks like it landed just inside the boundary, but apparently it didn't. So Tracy Toner will have the free kick at left halfback flank for the Lady Demons. And that kick out of the pole. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Water delivery by one of the Boston Demons. Thank you very much. <laughs> and let's see. The freak, let's see. So we're in a bit of confusion there, but once again, I guess it's a do-over for that kick from Tracy Toner, and she's able to get it now. There's a contest forming under it. Ball goes off a set of hands and goes to ground, and she's got it, and that just managed to keep it in, and it's out now. Justin Monahan was looking to uh, handball it off. And uh, a little bit of a 
after the ball stuff, but uh, no harm, no foul. Uh, hit out of the ruck and out of bounds once again. And we'll have another boundary throw in right here in front of us at the near center wing. Up it goes once again over everybody now. And tapped out, no clear advantage yet. Lady Pie's trying to get the clearance as uh, trying to get it there. That's uh, number 75, that's Taylor. And she is wrapped up. No prior opportunity, so they're just gonna toss it up. And the ball goes up once again. Tapped out. Taylor almost had it there. She was shepherded off the ball, but gets back to it now. And the ball going wide. Lady D's have it now. She is wrapped up. Ball's back to ground. Lady D's, Lady Pies rather, have it now. And it takes a bounce. Goes past everybody. And looks like the Lady Pies will have, oh, she can't pick it up off the ground cleanly. She's got it now. That's Lawrence Kinesny. But it's going to just dribble forward. She couldn't get a clean kick on it. And the Lady D's have it now in their back pocket. And they're looking to move it off. And ball goes up. And kicked by the Lady Pies. I think that's Sam Wolf, and that's going to be going wide, so that'll be a point. So now it is 46 to 12. 7 4, 46. Two straight 12. Once again, the Lady Pies add to their lead. And Kaylin Deal with the kick in, almost marked by Muscarella. She's got it now off the ground. She's dispossessed by Lawrence Kinetsny. And they're heading toward the goals right now. Loose ball off the ground. Lady D's pick it up. Lady Pies dispossess. Boston has it, though. She's wrapped up. Skinetsny with the tackle. And let's see here. We've got a whistle. And the umpire will toss it up. They're at half forward right now from the Magpies' perspective. And they're tapped out once again. And into New York hands. And ball goes back. And here we go. She's just going to get it to the boot, looking for a target up front, looking up close. Not quite marked, it's loose there. And if they can, uh, they can still soccer it off the deck maybe. And uh, going in, and let's see, that'll take a skip and a bounce. And a bit of a shepherd there. And the Lady D's do, do come out with it. And they kick it up right now, Lady Demons. Will they kick it, bounces back though. There's a race for it right here close to us. And Taylor has it now, gets the ball off. And she's got, I'm sorry, that's Taylor actually. And she gets the handball off to her. Andrea Casillas has it now. She's able to get the kick to the boot before she's brought down. It's intercept marked by the Lady Demons. And the Lady Demons move and intercepted by Casillas. Bit of give and go back and forth between Andrea Casillas and the Boston Lady Demons. As she's just going to stop now, look for some targets, and then get it to the boot. And let's see. They've got numbers there, a couple of players there. And they try and kick it ahead, but they can't. Kick in now toward the goals, and Kaylin Deal spoils it. Skinesny is in there. Is, I'm sorry, that's a 22, not 12. 22 there is, uh, that's Jen, who's got a goal. And Lady Pies have it now, trying to get themselves some space, trying to move it, maybe center it up a little bit, too. And the Lady D is getting it now, kicking it out, and it is marked. Marked on the far wing, that's Ruthie. And Ruthie with a kick over. Oh, it's just at the feet of her intended target and now. She's got it. Uh, Lady Pies actually have it. And then goes back to the Lady Demons, kick in, and almost marked there at center by Katie. But then the Lady Pies take it, and they move it right back up the ground again, where once again it is intercepted by the Lady Ds. She is having a heck of a game out there today. She gets it to the boot now. Goes off of Ruthie's hands. Katie's there, but she's wrapped up. Casillas is in there as well. And they're just going to call the, basically, Blow the whistle and call for the ball and toss it back up. Ball goes back up, rucks go to work and tapped out. No real advantage yet, although the Pies have it now as Casillas kicks it forward. And handballed out. Oh boy, with it now, I believe that's Wolf. Wolf actually dispossessed. And Skinetsny in there trying to get it too. Lady D's looking to play some defense here. And here we go once again. Oh, she's got the ball again, number seven. And she gets it out to Lane, who's wearing number five. She's caught high. Play on, calls the umpire. And let's see. Lady D's have it now. And there's a race. Lady D's have numbers if they can get to it. However, it looks like the Lady Pies will get there first. Oh, she can't handle it cleanly. A bit of a fumble there. And now, oh my goodness, there's only one Lady Pie back. If the Lady D's can only get it moving. Here we go. There's a kick going up now, and there's a race for it. 
Oh, she is wrapped up. And Lady Pies have it. Sidestepping there, that's Nat. She's able to handball it off, and here come the Lady Pies with it again. Right up the guts, here we go, right up the corner. Intercept mark again, number seven. She is out there just having herself one heck of a match for the Lady Demons. And coming up, and goes over everybody. It'll skip, though, and take a very Boston-friendly roll, but then the Lady Pies will pick it up and move it right back up once again. Kick goes in, and oh, Casillas has it taken away from her just before. She's able to pick it up, but then she's able to tackle the player. And the Lady Demons have it once again. And that kick going in, looking for, not quite getting the target as it's intercept marked there by Taylor for the Lady Magpies. A few minutes left to go in this match. And it looks like the Lady Magpies will have this one. They're pretty much going to come away with the chocolates now as uh, the kick goes up. And, oh, just getting the mark there before the uh, spoil attempt. One of the uh, Lady Magpies. Just a few minutes left to go in the match. Pretty commanding lead for the New York squad right now. They're up by 34 points. And it looks like there was a 50 meter penalty awarded. I was down looking at the scorecard. I didn't see uh, what, uh, why the uh, 50 meter penalty was awarded. My thought would be maybe someone ran over the mark. That's Sam Wolf with the kick now. Intercept mark again. And here we go. Kick goes up again and taken by Taylor. So right now both teams are basically swapping intercept marks. And the kick going out to the side. And she's got it. That's Sam Wolf again. And she kicks it now over towards the center and almost marked by one of the Lady Demons. But the Lady Pies will pick it up off the ground and they'll get wrapped up. And a big pile on the ground. And the ball is loose though, it's come out. And the Lady Demons out with it now. And that, oh, not quite marked, it bounced off her checks. The uh, kick there went from number eight, Ruthie, to number 12. Number 12 there being Alex Mims. And uh, Lady D is looking to move it further up. To see us in there now as she always is, knocking, trying to knock another Lady D off the ball. And then, well, that ball gets loose, too. Lady Pies kick it. It's going to be high. And she can't pick it up. I don't know if it would have been a mark anyway. I don't know if it went 15 or not. And the battle for it along the ground now. Lady Pies with it once again. Handball to Sam Wolf. Wolf has it. She is wrapped up from behind, and that is going to be holding the ball. Great tackle there. I believe that was um, Karen Stabline with it. And the Lady Dees will move it ahead. And Lady Pies have it off the ground. Taylor's got it now. She gets it to the boot. And Stabline all has it taken away from her. But then a couple of knock-ons, and the Lady D's got it back. That's uh, Karen Stabline once again. And there we go. Katie's got the mark, and she's just going to move with it. She touches it to the ground, and she is wrapped up. And did she get rid of the ball? Nope. And that was holding the ball. Taylor. Ran her down, got her from behind, made the tackle, got the free kick. And the kick back out to the wing. And that is taken there by Amy Mack. And then she kicks out to the wing. And that is marked as well. MJ has it now for the Lady Pies. And she'll get it to the boot. And once again, intercept mark there. And uh, once again, the player number seven. I'm looking up and down the Lady Demons roster. I don't see a number seven. But obviously, she's wearing Eagle shorts. So she's a member of the uh, Baltimore Washington contingent that's playing with the Boston Club today as the kick goes in. And it's marked. But as it's marked, the final whistle goes off. And that is it. We have full time. Lady Magpie is coming in and pulling off a big victory. Final score on this one, the Lady Magpies from New York. Seven goals, four behinds, 46 points. And the Boston Lady Demons, two goals, two behinds, 12 points. Still to come, we've got a stateside footy flashback on tap. But first, we'll talk to Drea Casillas about the International Cup, which is right around the corner. That's coming up next, right here on Stateside Footy.
Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback, your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. All right, we're here at Stateside Footy. We're here at a doubleheader today between uh, New York and Boston. And when New York comes to town, obviously, we get to say hi to Drea Casillas, the USAFL women's coordinator. And with the International Cup literally just two, not even two weeks away now, right. a lot of big stuff going on. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're really excited. I uh, leave next week, so <laughs> I'm ready to go. So uh, tell us about some of the players you've got lined up this year. You know, we have we have a lot of our veterans um, that you, you're you used to seeing. So we have Hallie, she'll be coming back. Uh, but then also a lot of new players that you might not have seen before and we're really excited about the team um, very dedicated focused team very athletic very skilled um, there's a lot of depth so we're really excited to, uh, with what we're bringing to the IC great and obviously speaking of things going on in Australia I really haven't had a chance to catch up with you since the advent of the AFLW which was huge this year Absolutely. and of course uh, someone that we actually get to see on stateside footy for a while uh, Jessica Wichner yep. did a nice job made it yeah. all the way to the grand final and kicked a couple of goals yes yes I, you know it was great for especially the East Coast and Boston I'm sure particularly um, to see Wusha out there and doing what she does best um, but it was also just amazing to see women playing um, and learning from them we have haven't had that opportunity obviously in the past um, and to see so many women just displaying all of the skills um, and everything that we aspire to be it's great to see that as a as a female footy player here in the states and obviously uh, last year too there was an exhibition and uh, one of your New York Magpie teammates Kim Hemingway yeah. huge showing in the uh, Sydney match yeah yeah so Kim we we were definitely cheering for her hoping that she would have gotten drafted um, she did us so proud and we were really astounded with what she she did, um, what Katie did. Um, it, it's great to see that we here in the U.S. are building something that can play over there in Australia. We just saw the Lady Pies in action, and uh, the team has really uh, done a lot in the last few years. And uh, Christina Licata has done a great job as coach. Yep, yep. I mean, we can't. I miss. I miss T on the field, absolutely. Um, but she's really transitioned into this coaching role, um, just almost seamlessly. And watching her step into a new position, take it on, as only Christina will take take on uh, any kind of aspect. Uh, it's great to see. Great to be coached by her, um, and great to learn with the group of girls that we have playing. And uh, the landscape as far as the AFL women's competition this year, obviously there are more teams. Philadelphia starting aside now. Right. And originally uh, you were in Arizona and you came in, basically uh, uh, laid the foundation for the Lady Magpies. And then one of the Lady Magpies moved out west yep. and helped form the uh, Portland Sockeyes. So it's, it's almost like seedlings in a way. Like, you know, the, the seed moves here, it grows, drops <laughs> another seed, grows here. So uh, yeah, great. you know, that's our goal is to grow the league. Um, and we want to make sure that all the players that come and play with us have um, just have the backing and have the support to be able to do that anywhere that they happen to move to. Um, we can't grow unless everybody's wanting to grow the league together and build teams. Um, and so we're just here to support in whatever way we can. USAFL Women's Coordinator and New York Magpie stalwart Drea Casillas mm -hmm. joining us on Stateside Footy. Thank Thanks, you for joining yeah. us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got another special for you. It's the Stateside Footy Flashback. The Boston Lady Demons Women's Footy Tournament continues, as does this special three-part episode of Stateside Footy. We're awaiting the start of the third and final game of this tournament with the winner already decided. The Montreal Angels, winners of the first match against Boston, have just defeated the New York Lady Magpies by a score of four goals, five behinds, 29 points, to nothing. The two wins give the Angels the inaugural Lady D's tourney title, and what we're about to see is the battle for second between Boston and New York. The Lady D's and the Lady Pies have one loss each. The winner of this match would take second place place. If the game ends in a draw, the Lady D's would take second due to their superior scoring percentage. After this, it's a full-length exhibition Metro match between the Quebec Saints and the Boston River Rats. You'll see that match in the next edition of Stateside Footy. So the players are setting up at the center of the ground, getting ready to start this third and final match of today's Ladies Triple Header. And they're just about set to uh, put things up at center here. And the whistle goes up, and so will the ball. Here we go. And tapped over. 
No one able to ta uh, tap out to a clear advantage, but now it's knocked toward the Magpies attacking, uh, or is it the, uh, let's see, it's going down right now. Ball still on the ground, soccered ahead by one of the Lady Pies, taken now by Emily Rio for the Lady D's. She kicks it ahead. And Amy Hogue has it now. Hogue kicks it back towards center. Nobody there, though. Looks like the Lady Pies will get somebody there first. That's uh, number 36, Marie LaVictor. LaVictor, actually, for uh, Minnesota. Actually, I'm sorry, for New York. She actually plays usually for Minnesota, but she's with New York today. If you're confused, so am I. I'll, I'll explain it when we have a break in the action here. All right, let's see. And we've got a uh, free kick given to the uh, Lady Demons, taken there by Alicia Olson, one of the newer faces on this Demon squad. Over to Amy Hogue now. Hogue kicks it ahead. And getting there first, it looks like it's going to be Eileen Hansen. Hansen battling for it now. Couple of players with it there. And it's uh, going to be balled up, it looks like. Indeed, they'll toss it up. And taken again by Amy Hogue. Big win there. She kicks into it. Mark taken by Lydia Holt. Tough angle. Will she try for the goal? Or will she try to uh, do a little centering kick to somebody in front? Try and straighten it out a little bit. Oh, looks like she's just going to go for it. The wind's taking it in. Not enough, though. And the Magpies are able to get it out. Now they're on the move. Goes over Emily Reel's head. Goes right through the center corridor, and uh, the Magpies had it momentarily. Real able to get it, but now she's being held up. And it's being balled up by another one of the demons who's helping out. That's Ross Druckenmiller as your field umpire. Taken there by the Lady Deuce to try and bring it ahead now. The ball is along the ground. And we've got another uh, whistle. Looks like they'll ball it up again. Uh, stop hit out to advantage by Hanson. Out to Emily Real. Real has it now. She's got some space. Big kick. And it's going to bounce, and it's going to be caught by, uh, looks like that's uh, LeVictor. And still in play. Somehow LeVictor kept it in bounds, although she was being heavily harassed by Lydia Holt. Taken down there, that's Blaha. But then LeVictor kicks it out. Olsen with a spoil there. She gets the ball, almost was able to advance it. LeVictor with it now, Emily Real actually gets it. She can't get it to the boot though, she's taken down. And uh, they try and get it now, uh, Olsen has it again. Olsen loses it, it's gonna go out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in. At the Demons right half forward flank. Knocked out and into the hands of the Magpies. Although she's taken right down. Big tackle by Olsen. Reel's got it now. Reel trying to make some space. She's going to kick it in toward the sticks. And it's taken, but uh, didn't go far enough, so it's not going to be a mark. I believe that was Nikki Blaha with it. Olsen's got it again. She stops it. Emily Reel with the shepherd there. Olsen has it now. She moves ahead. She's able to kick it, and it's caught by uh, Hoag. Hoag kicks it. It's uh, going off the ground. Holt's got it now, and she's still got it. She makes a kick, Dan. It looks like it's going to go out. I don't see a signal for out on the full. I believe it's going to be a boundary throw in. Must have landed just before the boundary line. Actually, no, it did go out on the full because the uh, free kick paid to the Lady Magpies and they kick it out now. Trying to go along the boundary. And getting the uh, mark and the free kick, Lady Magpies. They'll kick it ahead now. Lakata tries to take it, can't do it. She tries to get it off the ground. Meets up with Emily Real and she's dispossessed. Ball goes to ground. They're just battling for it now. It's out. Goes back to ground and now the uh, Lady Pies are moving with it. And it's going to go out. As I've got one eye on the ground, one eye on our tent here, which looks to be heading out for the land of Oz any minute. Knock it over. Reel's got it again. Olsen tries to get her hands on it. Reel takes it, but she's taken right down. 
With it now is Hansen. Eileen Hansen able to make some space, but then she's caught. And I think they're going to call holding the ball. Free kick, Magpies. Hansen just couldn't dispose of it in time. Kick comes out and taken there for the mark. That's Emily Royer with it now. Kick the head. Looking for either Licata or Allison. Allison gets it. She kicks it in towards the sticks and that's going to be behind. So the first point of the game goes to the Lady Pies. They lead it now 1-0. Alicia Olson to take the kick in for the Lady Demons. Nice kick. Goes over everyone. But since for Emily Real, she might have a chance to run with it. She's got it now. Kicks it ahead. And let's see. Go over there and handballing it off. It's number 54, Becky Kraft. Taken. That was uh, Olsen. Olsen with a big mark. What I've seen so far from uh, Alicia Olsen, I'm very impressed. And it's taken now by Kraft once again. She kicks it ahead into the path of Olsen, who soccers it ahead and back. And now she gets it off the ground and just tries to handball it. Tries to handball it out to Sarah Muscarello. Who then gets wrapped up by Becky Kraft and we've got a whistle and it'll be balled up. And uh, hit out to advantage by Eileen Hansen. Tries to pick it up herself. And then she handballs it over. Lady D's with it now. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure. And uh, moving ahead now, Blaha going after it. With it now is real with a little bit of space. She's also got Emily, uh, I'm sorry, Lydia Holt on the lead. She kicks it in. That looks like it's a goal. First points for the Lady Demons, Emily Real with another goal. And now the Lady Demons lead one straight six to one behind one. And they'll bring it back out to center now. Nice job there by the Lady Demons. Able to get the ball to Emily Real in space, give her some room to run, and she was able to kick it right through the big sticks. And coming off the contest, it looks like Licata's going to be the first one there. But then she's dispossessed. She's taken by a couple of Lady Ds. And handball goes ahead. And uh, for a moment there, Eileen Hansen was trying to make a tackle. But the ball comes loose, and with it now is Olsen. Olsen brings it up the other way again. Olsen tries to kick it ahead. And it's taken there by one of the Lady Pies. And now brings it ahead. Big kick, looking for everybody. First person there, I believe it's going to be Andy Williams for the Lady Demons. He's able to shepherd the ball, get it on the boot, and kick it out. And uh, she's able to basically get it to herself. She soccers it off the ground. Olsen in there, too, looking for it. And uh, with it now, that's uh, number 26. It's Rebecca Wax. Real is uh, on it once again, and she's got some space to run and some space to kick. Blaha tries to take the opposition mark. It's spoiled by Amy Hogue. Blaha's able to soccer it ahead, looking for Allison. She gets it. And Allison gets hauled down from behind. Ball still on the ground. They're trying to move it ahead. Handball to Real now. Real hauled down by Licata. And the Lady Pies have some room to run now. Allison kicks it up. Olsen takes the opposition mark again. I'm sorry, that's not Olsen. That's, uh, actually, I don't know who that is. It's uh, number two. Actually, hold on. I think I have a note here. Actually, that's uh, Margot Legault wearing number two for the Lady Demons. And yeah, let's see. And yeah, we've got, uh, I believe, a ball-up situation. Well, I guess it, I had a note here that said first half would be Margot wearing number... But I guess not. Okay. So anyway. But there's a number two for the Lady Demons, and I don't know who it is. Uh, let's see. So it goes to ground. And with it there is number 11. That's Lisa Arredondo for the Lady Ds. And 
And she's going to kick it ahead and, oh, almost taken there by Blaha. She soccers it ahead, though, looking to get it in space. And, oh, taken off the ball by Amy Hogue, who now runs with it. She tries to handball it ahead, but then it's blocked by another one of the Lady Pies. And uh, knocked down, I believe that was a push, push in the back. Amy Hogue will get the free kick for the Lady Demons. Nice kick. She's looking for Emily Real. Can't get it, though, as the uh, marking attempt is spoiled. Here and there now. Going down there, that's uh, Sarah, once again, Sarah Muscarella. Knocked ahead. Out of the uh, ball up situation. Kick in. Olsen tries to mark it again. Looks like she's going to be the first one to get it. She indeed is. And she's able to out earn the two pies. Kicks ahead. Right to real. She can't mark it, though. Juggles it. She's able to kick it ahead. Right into the hands of the Lady Pies. And they'll try and turn it into attack. It goes over Olsen and also uh, number eight. That's uh, Lisette Hinjosa for the Lady Magpies. Taking down a tackle. And a whistle and uh, waiting for the uh, signal from the... It's holding the ball. Another big play by Alicia Olsen. She gets the free kick. Making some key tackles, some key opposition marks. Doing a really nice job on the Lady D's back line today. And it's kicked up, goes through Blaha. But then soccer back, Lakata tries to move it ahead. She battles with Emily Real. Emily Real hauls her down. And uh, pushing the back, Lakata will get the free kick. According to something we just heard, three minutes left in this first half. One scoring shot on each side, a minor for the Magpies, a major for the Lady D's. Oh boy, again, again, mark there, the opposition mark taken by Alicia Olsen. She's taken some really nice marks today. And once again, she blisters off a kick. Uh, Allison can't take it off the boot. Arredondo tries it now. And there's Hanson back to Arredondo. Arredondo. Handballs it back to Hanson now. Hanson picks it up, tries to get it to the boot, can't. Handballs back to Arredondo, who gets it to the boot, kicks it ahead, and the mark is taken by Hogue. She takes the mark. It didn't go far enough. They've got Lydia Holt in front if they can find her. Oh, that's a big kick, and it's going to go be touched and go through for a behind. Not sure if that was Blaha playing for the Magpies or Holt playing for the Demons that touched that one. Okay, it did go off Holt's hand, thank you. Uh, Lydia Holt did tap it, so she'll get credit for the minor score. 117 now for the Lady D's, they lead by a kick. And uh, sold into trouble there was number 47, Allison, for the Lady, Ma uh, Lady Magpies. Ball off the ground, taken out by Real. Real has some space. She's able to kick it, and Holt can't catch it. Goes to ground, and it's going to roll out. We'll have a boundary throw in in the Demon's forward pocket, the forward right pocket. And it's thrown in, goes to ground between everybody. Going after it now, that's Hanson. She can't pick it up, though. She's uh, held off the ball. Magpies try and bring it to attack now. It's kicked up the corridor. Goes through the center square. And uh, going for it now, that's uh, number 46. That's uh, Leanna DaCosta. Kicked ahead. And marked! That's Rebecca Wax. Free kick for the Lady D's. As time winds down here in the first half. And the kick comes in. Olsen can't mark it. Back there, too, for the Lady Demons is uh, Sandy Destra. Actually winds up going through. I believe uh, that was uh, number eight. A minor score for the Lady Magpies. Now the score is seven plays, two in favor of the Lady Demons as the kick-in is taken by Alicia Olson. Going after now is Amy Hogue. Oh, good. Nice little bit of Shepard there on the uh, loose ball on the ground. She soccers it back, trying to get it to uh, Hanson or uh, Real. Smothered there and taken and moved ahead by Emma, uh, by Hogue, by Emmy Hogue. Emily Real is right with her. Now, uh, Blaha wraps her up, though. Hogue has it now. And we're at halftime. The uh, siren has sounded. 
And after one half, the score stands. The Boston Lady Demons, one goal, one behind, seven points. And the New York Lady Magpies, two behind, two points. Coming up next, we'll bring you second half action as the Boston Lady Demons Australian Rules football continues right here on Stateside Footy. on the ground getting ready to start the second half of this uh, game the third game of the Boston Lady Demons Australian Rules Football Tournament here at Briggs Field on the campus of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology it's the Boston Lady Demons against the New York Magpies the Lady Magpies and right now the Lady Demons lead the game 117 to two behind two And we've actually got players from four teams here today. As I mentioned, we've got the Lady D's, the Lady Magpies, and also the Montreal Angels. Also a couple of players here from the Minnesota Freeze Women's Club as well, and we'll mention them a little bit as we get to a break in the action sometime during this second half. But right now, I'm just getting set. Everyone's getting in position. And Bruce Rogers, the referee, is about to put it back up for grabs. The Empire Rogers does it and knocks it down and right away the Lady Demons try to bring it into attack. Hanson had to think for a second which uh, which side of the ground she was headed for, but uh, was able to get it up. But then the Lady Magpies take it and Emily Real with a the tackle there. She's not able to uh, tackle before the ball was disposed of though. And uh, now with it that's number 24. That's uh, Emily Royer kick and it's taken once again the opposition mark once again Alicia Olson who has been huge on that back line for the Lady Demons today, especially in this match. Another nice big kick. She's got real. If she can, oh, go, just goes over her head. But it bounces off Emily Real. Going after there, Leslie Delaney and also uh, Real. Real's going to wind up taking it. She kicks it ahead. And it's going to move ahead. And going after it now, it's going to go out. And it'll be boundary throw in, which will be a good result for the Lady Ds because they'll basically get the boundary throw in right about at their left forward pocket. So it's a chance for them to uh, add to the lead. And handling the boundary umpiring duties right now is uh, Mike Shepard of the Boston Demons. Hit ahead, and uh, Leslie Delaney has it, although she's knocked down. It's taken away there by Allison for the Lady Magpies over to Nikki Blaha now, who kicks it out. It actually goes off the arm of Sandy Destra. Lydia Holt tries to kick it back for Emily Real. Real takes it off the ground. She's being pursued, though. Tries to get it out. She's being pursued by uh, Marie LeVictor. And uh, Hanson's got it. She handballs to Real. Real's able to kick it ahead, trying to get it up to uh, Lydia Holt. And it's kicked away. And LeVictor's got it now. She'll kick it ahead. And it's going to wind up in the hands of Emily Hanson, who gets a big kick off. It's going to land. And looks like it's going to bounce out of bounds once again uh, over the boundary line. So as a result, we are going to get... A boundary throw in at one of the forward pockets of the Lady Demons. Mike Shepard to put it back into play. And it goes over. Trying to get there is uh, Holt. Going to be taken, though, by one of the Lady Ds. And uh, looks like they'll ball it up. They will. And it goes to ground. I think that's Blaha with it now in the middle of the uh, group of ladies there. Kicked ahead, and first one there. It's going to be, yep, it's going to be Hanson, who's being harassed by Lakata. Lakata improperly disposes of the ball. She's going to get pinged for it. Christina Lakata with the tackle and the free kick. Nice job there by number seven, probably the senior member right now, the Lady Magpies. Normally we see Andrea Casillas, who not only is a senior member of the Lady Magpies, but also is the women's development coordinator for the USAFL. She's actually traveling. She's actually in Eastern Europe, so... She won't be with us today. Kicked ahead by the Lady Pies. And taken again in opposition by a Lady Demon. That was Emily Real. And she's just going to make a big kick through the corner. 
And, oh, Lydia Holtz almost marked it. She was being harassed in the back, though, by a Lady Pie. And with it now is Blaha. Blaha almost gets tackled by Delaney. Taken now by Real. Real finds some space, and she's able to kick it. And it's going to bounce. It's going to take a weird bounce, though. It's going to bounce back. It's tapped out there by uh, LeVictor, who's got it now. LeVictor kicks it out. And it's marked. Lady Magpies take the mark. Now kick it ahead, trying to move it further into attack. Bounces off a hand there, Emily Real going after it, but it's going to be taken by Royer. And then she's dispossessed with it now as Eileen Hansen for the Lady Demons. Hansen has some room to run through the corridor. She kicks it ahead looking for Delaney. It goes through everybody. Destry's got it now, but she's knocked down. With it is Delaney. And Delaney is being uh, handled by a couple of magpies. And uh, we've got a free kick. And the free kick is going to... Actually, no, I'm sorry, it's going to be balled up. No free kick. I thought he was pointing to indicate a free kick, but no, just ball it up. And the battle for it along the ground. With it now is Delaney. Delaney tries to move, but once again, she's held up. She gets it out to Holt. Lydia Holt! And I believe that's... Uh, going to double-check the uh, goal up here. It's a goal! Looked like it went through the sticks, but just wanted to get that uh, final word from the goal umpire. Indeed, it did go through the big sticks, which of course means that the uh, Lady Demons have just extended their lead. Lady Demons now at 2 1 13. Two one thirteen now for the Lady Demons. New York at uh, two behinds two. Up it goes once again into play. Tapped out to a, hit out to advantage. Uh, attempt anyway by the Demons, but the Magpies wind up picking it up with it as Lakata, who's harassed by her opposite number seven, Amy Hoag. And uh, actually, uh, Lakata improperly disposed of the ball. She made a tackle and got, a, got an opponent called for a holding the ball earlier. She just called, called for it herself after being held up there by Amy Hogue. And she's going to kick it ahead now. Goes right past the outstretched hands of Hansen. Kicked up now looking for Becky Kraft. Bounces. Winds up being taken by Olsen once again. Olsen gets held down. She can't dispose of it, but uh, nothing called with it now. Lady D's once again kicked ahead right up through the corridor, trying to get it over to a Sarah Muscarella. Arredondo has it now. She kicks it, but uh, bounces off the ground, goes in the hands of a Lady Pie. And the mark is taken. Another mark taken there by number 24, Emily Royer. And she tries to set up and kicks it right to a Lady D. I believe that's uh, once again, uh, actually, that's not Olsen, I believe, uh, Let's see. Free kick there, Ashley. Oh, hang on. We had a player step over the mark. 50-meter penalty. And it was Alicia Olsen with that kick. With that, uh, who had the free kick, I should say. And she kicks it ahead now. Nice kick looking for Delaney. Just goes through her hands, though. And it's picked up once again by Marie, uh, Marie LeVictor. Kicked ahead now by Allison. Allison Vorsatz. Kicked ahead now for the Lady D's, but it's marked by LeVictor, LeVictor, the lone person back. Manning the back line for the Lady D's, and right now doing a pretty admirable job of it. And uh, Royer taken down by Emily Hogue, but coming away with it now, that's uh, Becky Kraft, the other uh, member of the Minnesota Freeze who's playing for the Magpies today. As I mentioned, we'll mention uh, a little more about them in a bit. And handball ahead there, Andy Williams with it there, number 15 now. Uh, for the uh, Lady D's. And let's see. We've got a tug of the jumper and a free kick. And the free kick is being paid to the Lady Magpies. Allison Vorsatz kicks it now. Tries to get it over to One of the Lady D's, it's uh, Royer with it now. Sorry, not one of the Lady D's, one of the Lady Pies. And we've got a whistle. And holding the ball. So once again, the Demons will get the free kick. Lady Demons right now leading by 9 points, 13, I'm sorry, 11 points, 13 to 2. And the mark is taken there. I believe that's Amy Hogue. And the Demons are just going to try and move it up through the corridor, it looks like. Uh, they do kick it ahead. But it's taken and marked, and she's going to play on now. 
That's uh, number 54, Becky Kraft. It bounces though, and it's taken there by Olsen. Olsen's on the run now. She's able to kick it ahead. Kraft can't take it. She's gonna chase it now. The victor's there, she's got it. They try and kick it ahead. And oh, they can't take the mark with it there. And it's smothered, Olsen again. Coming up with a huge play. Emily Royer had taken it, it bounced off the ground. She was about to kick it. In that time, Olsen was able to get over there and smother it. That's uh, hit up by Lakata to advantage as Allison's got it now. Oh, and uh, it's a high tackle. High tackle called on uh, Amy Hogue. So it's a free kick for the Lady Magpies. Allison with it once again. And the wind not letting up at all. Oh, and the free kick is uh, smothered by Amy Hogue. Oh, and tripped there. I think actually she just tripped either over her feet or the ground. Nope, they call a trip. Although, they call it a trip, but the, uh, it's going the other way. The trip, actually, it's called, on the Lady D, it's the free kick being given to Becky Kraft, number 54. Coming in there, and another defensive mark taken by the Lady Demons. Demons up right now by almost two kicks. Picked up, and, oh, goes over a couple of heads, and with it now is La Victor once again for the uh, Lady Magpies. She gets around... Uh, Destra, and let's see. Battle for it now, Licata and Real. Licata gets away with it, but then it goes to ground. Real's got it now, and it goes out of bounds as Real's being harassed by both Christina Licata and also Marie Le Victor. Well, like I said, I uh, mentioned a couple of players from Minnesota here today, the Minnesota Freeze. Uh, Marie Le Victor and Becky Kraft are both playing uh, for the Magpies today, so they stopped by and they wanted me to uh, Give a quick shout out to their coach. They want to give a shout out to Diesel and also to Becker. So uh, attention, uh, Minnesota Freeze organization, Diesel and Becker, Marie and Becky, say hello. Free kick, meanwhile, going to uh, the Lady Demons. Kicked ahead, goes over everybody. Lady Magpies have numbers though. It's picked up by Becky Kraft. Dribbles it on the ground ahead. Hanson gets it to Delaney now. Delaney handballs it to Real. Real kicks. Destra takes the mark. She plays on. She tries to kick, but she's knocked off the ball by Blaha. There's a battle now right near the goal square, and we've got uh, someone I believe is getting pinged for a throw. So a free kick is being paid. Free kick paid to Sandy Destra for the Lady Demons. Wearing the number 21. Or is it going the other way? A little bit of confusion there. Now the free kick is paid to the Magpies. No idea what happened there. And the kick, uh, wind caught it a little bit, winds up rolling out of bounds. Mike Shepard with a quick uh, hurdle there. Grabs the ball. And it goes up. And uh, once again, the Lady Magpies try and hit out to advantage. Goes to ground. They try and move with it now, and they can't. And that's going to be... Uh, looks like uh, someone tucked on a jumper, it looked like. Uh, nope, just going to be a ball up. And hit out to advantage almost by the Lady Eyes, but with it now is Hanson. Hanson with the kick. It's going towards the sticks. And I believe the signal is behind there. But it's another score for the uh, Lady Demons. And everyone's setting up for a kick in, so indeed it was a minor score. So it's now 2 2 14 to uh, two behinds, two. Lady Demons ahead by two kicks now. 14 plays two, the score. After the ball there is a Sarah Muscarella. Coming out now, and here come the Lady D's. Royer settling under it, but it's going to go a little too far. Ball is rolling. Looks like Royer's going to get it. Royer on the move now. Hesitates a little bit, is able to get it. But Emily Real takes the mark. 
Hesitation can kill in this game. Real kicks it ahead, and uh, it's taken there. Nice mark. Nice mark there, I believe. That's Becky Kraft again. Yes, it is. Number 54. Nice job. And it's kicked ahead, and spoiled. Taken, though, by Christina Licata, who handballs ahead, but uh, it's taken by Emily Real. Real with it now, trying to kick it up through the corner, looking for Lydia Holt. Holt's able to corral it a little bit, is able to get the magpie of Victor off of it, and she kicks it ahead. Going after it now is Sandy Destra. She just soccers it ahead. It's going toward the boundary line. She's got it now. Handball out to Real, and it goes out of bounds off the hands of Emily Real. We'll have a boundary throw in. 14-2 here at the final, at least the final game of the first part of the women's tournament. There'll be another game a little later on. It's a hit out to advantage and hit out of bounds once again. It's a good thing it rolled off the ground because if, if it's being balled up and you hit it and the ball flies out of bounds off the hand without touching the ground, then that's actually considered almost like a kick on the full. Meanwhile, Emily Reel's got it right in front. And Real is dialed in. She's kicking the goal. Three, two, twenty. Now. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a point. Looked like it was a goal, but they're uh, settling for the kick in. So it's two, three, fifteen. Sometimes from the angle here, it's a little hard to tell. Oh, there's a little bit of confusion here. No, I was right the first time. So here we again, I get 3 2 20. No. Right now, my uh, score sheet, and that's it. We're at full time. So Emily Real with that goal. Her second goal of the match. And that's going to do it. Final score of this game in the Boston Lady Demons Women's Footy Tournament. The Boston Lady Demons, three goals, two behinds, 20 points. And the New York Lady Magpies, two behinds, two points total. And that'll wrap it up for this edition of Stateside Footy. But we have more action coming up. In fact, we have more action coming up today because coming up next, it is the second half of our footy doubleheader. It is the uh, New York Magpies taking on the Boston Demons. Till then, on behalf of my camera people, Stacey Robert and Yafim Schneiderman. I'm Bill Robert, thanking you for tuning in. Don't forget, you can catch us online. All you have to do is head to vimeo.com slash statesidefootytv or go to YouTube and just look up Stateside Footy TV. Also follow us online. We're on Facebook. It's at Stateside Footy TV. On Twitter at Bill R underscore SS Footy. Or you can visit our website at statesidefootytv.com. Till next time, thanks for tuning in to Stateside Footy. Stateside Footy.